Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mumako. Today I'm going to be reading for the collective. I've been wanting to do this reading for a while and I thought what a better way to start off October by doing an October collective. Um, and today's reading is going to be a bit different. Um, as most of you know, um, the night before I'm getting ready to do um, the readings for the next day. Um, this is my, my channeling book and I write messages um, down for whatever readings I'm going to do the next day. And um, normally I write it in the back. As you can see, this is my sexual tarot. Another sexual tarot. Longing for Divine Feminine. Proud of you. I've not done that reading yet. Proud of you. Um, if you're interested in me doing that, I've not literally done that reading yet. Um, just want to know, I just want you to know I'm here, Aries, and it goes on, goes on, goes on, goes on, goes on. Um, and in the front, I write my like personal journal stuff in here, my personal diary stuff. Um, this was my personal diary, but it turned into my channeling book. But last night, I turned to the front and um, I started writing a love letter. And first of all, I thought it was me writing. But then I just went into like this trance-like state and started channeling this love letter that your love interest was writing to you. And they... Um, they wanted me to read it, so that's what I'm going to do, and that's what I'm going to start off with. This is for all star signs, for all my wonderful, beautiful subscribers. This is your October collective, and this is a love letter from your love interest, okay? From my love, that's what I put. So, this has just gone midnight, so the date is the 1st to the 10th, 2022, Libra season. Ooh, ooh. Leave a rising, leave a rising. So I put missing you. This is this is so intense, guys. Like it's gonna take me a lot to read it, but just bear with, okay? I've done everything I can to try and forget you. I've tried my best to move on from you. I've got into relationships, hooked up with random people. Distracted myself every time you popped into my head. No matter what I did, all I ever do is crave you. Constantly in a fantasy land, imagining what our future would be like together. No one comes close to you. It's always been you. I'm madly in love with you. I know we most probably won't be together again in this lifetime. I just wish you well, my love. Oh God. I hope you find all you desire. I hope you find love. <clears throat> I just wish that I could be the one to give it to you because you deserve the world. I will love you forever and always, your love. And then as I finished, I started like writing down the bottom everything that I was channeling and I closed the book up and I started holding it to my chest. Like this person was writing this love letter and they were putting it in this envelope and I saw them licking the envelope and then at the bottom, like the bottom of the envelope where you seal it, they put sealed with a kiss. And I saw this person kissing the back of the envelope, sealed with a, lo sealed with a loving kiss. They were almost in, in hope that by sending you or you sending the cross watcher, you know, you know your roles more than I do. This person was hoping, when they were holding it to their chest, they were hoping that this would be the letter that changed everything. You would finally see how they truly felt for you, how vulnerable they were being, how open they were being. I felt like their 
had been a shift in your connection and there'd been a lack of contact and this person was hoping if they had reached out to you then this contact could start back up and even if it was just you two being friends then it was better than nothing because they really really truly adored you truly adored you it's like the the bit where they where i wrote they wrote um you deserve the world i just wish i could be the one to give it to you because all they do is desire this reconciliation this hope that they can bring this love back and if they can't do that then at least they can be your friend and be in your life you know something is better than nothing you know all right so let's get started i've never done that sort of message as a I knew I was doing a tarot reading and I normally just do little like quotes and messages like that but never a full written out letter which was um, quite emotional and to be honest last night after I'd done that channeling I felt so alone and I'm not the type of person to feel like that I'm really really not um, I'm a single mum I go to bed on my own. <laughs> um, but last night I was sat in bed writing that out and I closed the book up and I put the book beside me and I um, I broke the connection and I said to my spirit guides, um, I'll see you tomorrow. I always do that. I'd like, see you tomorrow. Um, and I literally, I got my spare bed pillow. So I, live, I obviously live with my my boys, but um, I've got a door bed and I sleep in the door bed on my own, single Pringle, we know, we know. Um, and all the spare pillows, that are literally brand new, not being used, because I only sleep on one side of the bed. Um, I literally started pulling them down and placing them beside me. And I like put my back up to these pillows and then I got another pillow and I cuddled into it and I'm like, what? This, this person was missing you. It was almost as if you recently split up and they were missing you being in their bed. They were missing being in your arms. Being in your arms is where they felt the most safe or having, you know, them holding you is when they felt the most safe. They felt the most content. And I just felt that energy last night and I had to go to sleep with a two big cushions butted up against my back and another cushion like I literally went to sleep cuddled into a pillow last night gripped onto it and I was so sad I literally cried myself to sleep and I'm I knew that wasn't me but being being in that energy and feeling how lost and feeling how upset and how much this person was absolutely missing you whether i'm speaking to my subscribers or i'm speaking to cross watchers you are being truly missed right now you don't know how much your love interest absolutely is madly in love with you if you are doubting your connection everything you're feeling can't be right surely this isn't right surely this isn't true Listen to that gut. Listen, listen to it. Because last night, I felt it stronger than ever. Right now, I can feel it stronger than ever. How much you two are crazy about each other. But you're just scared of coming forward. Scared of telling each other how you truly feel. Because once you do tell each other how you truly feel, what if that other person doesn't feel the same way? What if too much time has gone by? What if we don't have a chance? <sighs> October messages for the collective, please.
Libra season. Divine karma is at play. I've got them upside down. I have got them upside down. I don't take reversals unless they are really guiding me to take them. <clears throat> There's a, a big feeling of like restora restoration, I can't use that word, restoration, restoring. Finding a peaceful resolution. It's like you've both gone into this like solitude, you've both gone in into this like hermit mode and you're both not talking to each other because you're both trying to figure out a way that you can come forward to bring in harmony into this connection. That's what I'm feeling. You're going into like this recovery period, healing, justice and judgment. Are you freaking kidding me? The truth is finally coming out. You're both going to get the clarity that you both deserve. You're both realising where your hearts truly lie. You're taking action because you have so much passion for each other. This is feeling confident in this connection. It's like you've both been watching over one another. Has this person truly changed? Are they saying who they really are? It's like you've seen... What I'm being shown is you've seen this person on their bad days, you've seen this person on their good days, and they are turning up at that same level each time. It's like they're not like crazy one minute and then really nice and like, huh, like fake friendly. It's like this person is like steady in their emotions and no matter what's going on in this person's life, they're still turning up in the same energy. So that's giving you the confidence to come forward. I am literally being smoked out, okay. Let's let's move you over there, easy tiger, and let's move you, my love, over here. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. Yeah, the incense sticks went a bit nuts then. <laughs> wow. I think this connection's gonna heat up really fast. The clearing of the smoke clearing of the paths. Once that smoke clears, you're really going to be able to see where your path is leading you to. You're doing everything you can to let go of the burdens of the past, let go of the stresses, the strains that you have been holding with you for, the, for a long time about the past. It's not helping me in my current situation. It's not helping us. And all I want to do is restore this connection. All I want to do is build us both up. And the more I hold on to what did happen, it's not helping us. You're both determined to make this connection thrive to make this a, succe a successful connection. You're both putting each other up on a pedestal. Yeah, because at once you couldn't commit to each other. They just said keep it and then flip it. So they kept it there underneath the Ten of Wands, which would have been no commitment, greed, laziness, foolishness, bad news. But then they asked me to flip it. So what was once a burden with no commitment, now you're seeing loyalty. 
now you're seeing success. Now you're seeing a, even though it's the page of pentacles, I'm seeing it as a stable connection. Yes, you still are a bit vulnerable, a bit, I'm seeing it as um, you're still in your emotions about this. Um, that's why you can't face it as a, as a king of pentacles just yet. But you're bringing in a stable connection here. You're building on this. Uh... Shall we? Yeah, it's almost as if I'm seeing two people working really, really hard to make this stable foundation. But it's been a really turmoil, burdensome, like it's been a struggle, guys. I'm seeing that you both struggle to open up. You both struggle to be vulnerable at some point. But no matter what you did, it's like, the, like the message said, um, like the love letter said, no matter what you did, no matter who what relationship you went into, even having these like one night stands or just sleeping with random people, all you ever did was crave this person because you've never loved anybody as much as you love them, right? You're looking unbelievable. No matter what age you are, everybody is in awe of you. You're glowing. If you're a masculine, you are so freaking hot. You are so freaking handsome. Everybody's looking back at you. I'm seeing people just be like, <gasps> that's what I'm seeing. Or if you're feminine, whoa. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous. I'm getting that like loads of people are like reaching out to you, trying to give you their number, dropping in the DMs. You don't care. You're ignoring all those people. Or even if you did get together and hooked up with one of these people, yeah, you soon realise the whole time, even if you were getting down and dirty, you were thinking of your love, right? <clears throat> the Emperor. You were thinking of your Emperor. The Queen was thinking of the Emperor. Even though she tried to hook up with somebody else, she was constantly thinking of the Emperor. Or vice versa. The Emperor tried to move on. This is somebody that's in control of their life. This is a father figure. This is somebody that has a lot of respect. This is somebody that is looked up to. As are you. So whether I'm talking to the cross watcher or I'm talking to my collective, this is a very powerful couple. These are two people that are well respected within your work, within your home life, within your family. You are respected because of what you do, because of what you've done for the people around you. I'm seeing it that you've both transformed your your work. So say your the job that you're in, you've you've transformed that job to like it was like barely running by, and now all of a sudden, because you're there, it runs like clockwork. It's like your your bosses, or if you're the boss, everybody is like like you're a star. Everybody admires you so much for who you are, for what you do, for your focus, for your determination. You're so confident. I'm just seeing this just like, hmm. yeah, I run my shit. Mm-hmm. I just see this like really like confident person and I'm just like, wow, <laughs> wow. 
again for these do the queen of wands first Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You've both brought in a lot of balance, a lot of harmony. I'm seeing that. But you two are so controlled, like self, you have so much self control. You've taught each other how to be patient. You taught each other how to really come towards each other, how to respect one another. It's like, these are my boundaries. This is what I feel. And if you don't come in proper, don't come in at all. Just don't come in at all. That's what I feel like you're teaching each other. And the emperor. There's a lot of equal give and take here. You're both filling each other's cups up. Yeah, because of heartbreak. So basically, the reason why you're taking your time, the reason why you have had to step back because of heartbreak, because of a grief, or one of you or both of you have had to like go through a divorce, and you found it hard to trust again. Yeah. At some point you really, really suffered with like depression. Like really doubted yourself. Not knowing where to go, who to talk to because you didn't want to be judged. And when you both come into each other's lives or one of you came into the other person's life, I just feel like you were like not believing it's true. Like almost as if, oh, well, it's just going to happen again. Like you're going to do exactly what everybody else has done. Yeah, because I'm seeing this, this emperor as being very guarded, which I don't normally see the emperor as a guarded person, but this emperor, I'm seeing him hold his, um, I don't know what it is, I think it's a sword or something, but he's holding it like very close to his chest and he's just like, hmm, like trying to suss you out, hmm, are you really who you say you are? Hmm. <laughs> and this uh, feminine is all in her like passionate energy. She's like really, really confident. She's got her life together. Yeah, she's so confident and so passion passionate. This is a woman that's really, really creative, really ambitious, got a lot of drive. But the fact that she's so put together, like every single part of this woman's life is like really structured. She's worked her ass off to have all this structure for her life. So it's like her work life is going well because she's worked her ass off to make sure it is. Her home life is running like clockwork. Also worked her ass off to make sure it is. Do you know what I mean? And everybody on the outside is just like, wow. I want a bit of that. <laughs> Give me some of it. <laughs> For the collective, please. Thank you. Thank you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Damn right it does. 
religious factors your love life is influenced by religious factors or spiritual paths trust this situation is calling you to have faith my loves believe in this connection you've been feeling it for a while you just need to believe you deserve love you are lovable passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy finance and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and do you know why do you know why it is because you're not focused on love you're not focused on, oh my God, I need a man. Even though, yes, you're having these times at night where you're like lost and you are craving it. But in the day, when it's go time, you're not thinking about, I need love. Oh my God, it's not your daily occurrence. No, at night, yeah, before you go to bed, you're dreaming of what it would be like to be cuddled up to somebody. I get it. I truly, truly get it. But in the day, it's go time because you've got to go to work. You've got to earn that money for you and your family and the people around you, right? I ain't got time to worry about that. I've got too much to do. There's people dependent on me. I can't be worrying about who I'm going to love or if somebody's going to love me. No, I'll worry about that when I get into bed tonight with my gin. <laughs> Sorry, that was my um, spirit guide being cheeky. <laughs> Some nights, okay guys, when... I go to bed a bit earlier and um, I don't know, it'd be like half nine, ten o'clock and I'll get into bed and I'll have a glass of gin or a glass of wine and um, I'll just like literally be in bed on my own, just like chilling with a glass of wine, just be like, this is so freaking nice right now. <laughs> Watching some YouTube or catching up on like EastEnders or um, Netflix, some series I'll be watching. <laughs> I literally love my life. I literally be sat there in my nighty, feet up, and I'd patch you by my toes, just like snoring his head off like a normal staffy and his like lips like moving. And I'm literally enjoying my life with my glass of wine or a gin. Literally, loving my life, loving my life. <laughs> if that's you too, you know, you know, if you're, when you're a mum and then the kids go to bed and then all of a sudden you're just laid in bed on your own and the house is quiet especially if the washing up's done as well you know you know i went to bed last night the washing up was done i even like mopped the floor and everything and it was looking amazing i was like damn on top of my game today guys on top of my game <laughs> let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others never be afraid to ask for help Which one? This one. Can I have final messages for the collective, please? Oh, that, that was pants. That was, I clipped it with my finger, this finger. I clipped it. Let's do that again. These cards are so silky, you can't, Shuffle properly with them. Told you, they're too silky. Too silky. Really makes a difference. And the messages. What is their true thoughts and feelings? Collective, please. What's the collector's loves? True thoughts and feelings. There you are. And again, thank you. That's what I was looking for. I can't stop thinking about you. I want a fresh start. I'm gonna link a song as your dedicated song down below. I've been trying to sing it all morning and it's been making me so upset that I've only been able to literally listen to about 30 seconds of the start of it and it's a glimpse of us by jody i think it's jody my son said i was singing it he's like oh my god you like jody i was like who's that 
So yeah, it's a glimpse of us. Um, I'll, I'll link it down below with your dedicated song. But it's such an emotional song and I was crying to it so I couldn't listen to any more than like 40 seconds, maybe. Just, it's an emotional song, beware. It's an emotional song. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> it just scares me to feel so much for you. I sabotage this connection and I regret it. I avoided my feelings with you. Damn right you did. <clears throat> I believe in a future for us. I'm so afraid of losing you. Wow. I'm getting the courage to share how I feel. I miss talking to you so much. Please forgive me. I messed up. And I just heard, yeah, big time. <laughs> Spirit guide's got sense of humor today, guys. <laughs> oh. this, the, your love interest has been really working on themselves and that's why they, they've gone into quiet mode, this hermit mode. And um, I just feel that even though they've gone into this like hermit mode and they haven't been talking to you, they're still like checking on you and they're still making sure that you're okay and everything's all right, even though they're not talking to you. Cause like, it's like all of a sudden I'm feeling like you feel their energy pop up and you're like, <gasps> whoa. It's like you feel they're around you. Like, wait a minute, where are they? Are they here? Are they going to pop up to my house? Are they going to just pop up from nowhere? Because I'm feeling you stronger than ever. All you see, there's like, there's like things that remind you out of nowhere of your love interest. It's like situations like popping up that remind you of your, your love interest. Even to the point I'm seeing that you see people that look like your love interest. Like say if you have, I don't know, um, what they're showing me is say if you order a home delivery of food shopping to your house, yeah? The delivery guy who's dropped the food shopping to your house looks like your love interest. And you're like, <gasps> and they're like, you right? And you're like, yeah, just you really look like somebody then. <laughs> Like, that's what I'm seeing. Or you're going out somewhere and you see somebody like going by you that just looks like your love interest. Or you hear their name. Like synchronicities are like everywhere I'm seeing. Cause you're coming together. Yeah. You can feel that this, this partnership coming together. You can feel that this is getting closer and closer to union. That's what I'm feeling. Almost to the point you're doing things in your home to make sure your home looks nice because you feel like they're gonna rock up. That was a, I literally felt like somebody was pottering around their house and like decorating or doing things because they felt like somebody was gonna turn up. That one. No. Nope. I that the glimpse of us literally is in a loop on my head. That's all I'm hearing. Sometimes I look in your eyes. Because I'm gonna end up crying. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Throat chakra. Yes! Come on, cross watcher. I believe in you. You got this. Do you know what I feel like it is? I feel like the cross watcher is like, or you um, are in your fire energy and you don't normally get in your emotions. You're just normally very flirtatious and like passionate and right free spirited. But with this connection, 
it's made you get into your emotions and it's made you feel uncomfortable because like, whoa, 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 I can't get in my emotions because that's when I get hurt. That's when people will hurt me. That's when I get my heart broken. So I'm not getting in my emotions. I'm not, I'm not doing it because every time that happens, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. As time has gone on, you can't help but get in your emotions, can you? Because you're crazy about this person. You're madly in love with this person, aren't you? Come on. Come on, right? I can see it, I can feel it. Stop lying. Come out and tell this person how you feel. Because they're crazy about you just as much as you are about them. Watching them online, stalking them. <laughs> Throat chakra. Clarity. What did I say at the start of the reading? I don't know if you know, guys, but I'm a tarot reader and, um, and I'm an intuitive one. <laughs> I know when to stay silent and when to speak up. I speak with clarity, knowing to say how, how it is. I take enough time to go inward, listen, reflect and understand and gain clarity or of thought. I take the time to say and express exactly what I need. I have clarity. Are you freaking kidding me right now? I miss talking to you. Bringing in clarity. Bringing in communication, guys. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it's going to take. Again, throat chakra, transformation. I realize the negative thoughts and expectations. I release, I release, not realize, but realize too. I realize and release. There you go. I realize and release the negative thoughts and expectations on myself, others and the world. It is easy for me to transform negative beliefs and expectations into positive and supportive ones and I do so easily. I recognize the power of my thoughts and words as they vibrate through the universe, creating my future reality. I transform. I transform this connection. I transform us. It's okay. <laughs> I'm going to go because things are getting weird. <laughs> this is all your messages. I hope this gave you clarity in your situation because clarity is coming in. <laughs> if you did want a personal, everything is linked down below and I will send you everything you need. May love and light guide you on your amazing, wonderful spiritual journey. I'll see you all next time, my loves. My lovelies. Bye.